Starting el the record this. I want to own two 7 Elevens. Oh, Amaranth? That's kind of cool. She owns two of them. She owns like six. Yeah. They each pull like she doesn't really make that much money from them, though. It's 10 grand a month per ish. Yeah. Which is not that bad for passive income. That's great for yeah, passive income. I just figured income. it would have been a lot, a lot more, honestly. If it's a 7 Eleven. What are you. What are, they're not selling gold bars. They're selling gas and like. I don't know, dude. Snickers you ever bars. had them hot dogs? They're like gold bars, buddy. They're pretty Disgusting. good, yeah. Because they're Seven covered Eleven. in slack. Seven <laughs> Eleven food is actually not that bad. I they literally once... look like gold bars because they're covered in flat. It's radioactive. So. <laughs> I have never once seen a gas station hot dog and be like, yeah, let me get that. Yeah, no, neither have I. I've just. I'd rather just Seven... drink the gasoline die quicker. I wouldn't go to like. like Dave's Gas and Go and get one, but like 7 Eleven, like a national. No, I feel like, like Dave's Gas and Go is going to be the best. Yeah. Though. Yeah. My friend had like pizza from 7 Eleven and then had <laughs> diarrhea immediately. <laughs> there, cool. there actually is a, a gas station that's close to the lake that's a chain gas station where I live that actually has really good food. Really? It's like, that's weird. Yeah, it, it is very weird. They like make it's their breakfast. They make breakfast for people going like fishing and hunting. And it's oh fucking yeah, it's so good, dude. Dude, it's something about so like good. twelve dollar breakfast just hit. Sometimes uh, there's a place here that does that. Sometimes like gas stations will host like a like a like a, I guess a restaurant. Yeah, because there's a place here that makes like barbecue, and it's like but you have to go in the actual grocery store or the gas station and go in the back and like get it. But they have like a smoker out in front shit to smoke yeah, I, like I like going in the back for my barbecue <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah guys we could be monetizing this conversation we can True. we can okay. the we podcast can has we can, already the, started we could they can already be started let's do oh, let's did do it already start countdown. sure okay or is gonna have a fucking nightmare trying to sync this phone clap <laughs> all right ready three two one pussy i like how my arm disappears if i go back far enough it's just gone <laughs> Yeah. Dude, you got a little door. wingspan. I've been as shoot this time? Oh. Hell yeah. I've been as. Did you get that like free with one of the guitars you ordered or something? No, I had to buy it. <laughs> oh, damn. I had to spend money. You're I telling me Ibanez did not send the do a free t shirt? I know. Yeah. Come on, Ibanez, get on it. Yeah, really? It made my voice crack, my... too. I sounded like a bitch. Oh, Ibanez. I'm not like Ibanez. Pussy there. Welcome back to the goom. Welcome, Welcome back to the goom. Uh, uh, goom. Goom Goom Podcast. Goom Gunga. I'm at Goom. All right, am I doing typical? I'm ready to do dance. whatever you want. Here. I'm ready I don't know. To it's, dance. A, it's a blood pee day. You, you could do a dance. You could do a song. I could piss blood. You like, could, you didn't, you, didn't you already piss blood? Didn't you piss blood last night? Dude, yes. I saw your tweets and I was, I was so out of it when Excited I opened my you. eyes. <laughs> I opened my eyes and looked at Twitter and I was like, what <laughs> is going on? Sometimes I just saw your just leg in a blood. hospital, and then kidney stone, and then I fell asleep and had nightmares. It was actually just my leg there. I didn't even go. Just sent him. <laughs> I made <laughs> a him small in for me. hat. <laughs> if anybody was... You just did that right now. Cool. Didn't ask, yeah. but you know what? Honestly, very impressed. Very Thank impressed. Well, let's go. Yeah, I used to put those in a little. I used to put those in little ponds in my yard, like a little yeah. sailboat. Good, uh, cool, I can make. A, I could probably make a little boat too. Ow. Um, talk this would be great, like, tell, tell, Patreon content if we had one. Talk about piss talk and about blood. Your, yeah, talk about your your bloody piss while I make. Are we not doing? It? Okay, we're gonna make this. Okay. We didn't need an intro today. You know, a little more casual day. It's like casual. Well, the Tuesday. last one we did it was weak as fuck. Remember, you guys were like, "Oh, that was weak." Yeah, yeah, yeah the comment was section was shit. pissed. Really? Oh, I didn't read the comments on it. Monkey. <laughs> uh, what? Excuse Go ahead. me. Oh, oh yeah, okay. no he. Sorry, I, thought I think he... you should do a good a good dubstep. For yeah, the boys. this is late. People lean are into it this time. Make a make a dubstep while I make a hat. Let's do a whole okay. production out of Actually, it. Actually, I'm making a boat this time, so. Okay. Uh, <coughs> welcome back to the goo. Oh, welcome back to the goo. Oh, welcome back to the goo. Goo 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 goo. Boom, welcome back to the goo. Goon, 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 goon. Welcome back to the uh oh, and the uh oh, and the uh oh, 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 I made a small boat. I made a small boat. Let's go. We'll put the boat Origami moments. Are you making that out of the Canadian dollars? No, I have, uh, Danielle got me a little calendar. 
that says golf things on it, and I take the papers oh. off every morning. And <laughs> oh, so I ripped the shit up and made origami out of it the whole. Uh, no, it's what on. What do I do with a holy it's Bible actually every time a day I go to the ahead. hotel? Yeah, I like to also do that. I like to use it as supplementary toilet paper. I like to roll it up in little joints, but put nothing in it. What does that golf book say? I don't know. It's just got like a. Go it's just got random, goofy ass golf quotes. Random golf book. Never, let's hear, never, let's, bre yeah, never let's, break your driver it. and your putter in the same round. Don't do it. It's a good PSA. What's tomorrow or your oh, seven. I ripped iron, it off a day or early. Your, or your pitching wedge. Golf is more fun than walking naked in a strange place, nope. but not by much. <laughs> I, I don't know. Why is it? It's you a, know what? The, it's giving me those vibes of like when you're like about to join a match in like Modern Warfare and they give you like those tips. Yeah. Look, <laughs> 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 golf loading screen moments. Yeah. But it's like PGA Tour 06. Yeah. There, there's this like goofy ass the... stupid things that's, that's on them. There's nothing exciting or interesting on them. Yeah. But it's just a little calendar I have. Cool. Well, that's in case nice. I ever need to see what day it is on paper instead of my computer. You know, never know. Sure, yeah. Have to do that. <laughs> it's not like yeah. the dates on the bottom right of all three of my monitors or anything. I remember there was a short period after, uh, like I, I got out of high school, where I just forgot the date all the time because in school you're constantly writing the date down. Yeah. So you're like yeah. always aware of the date. Mm -hmm. And then after school, I was just like, "How's the, what day is it?" <laughs> But I'm still there. I haven't hit. Yeah, I never know what day it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, literally, really? like, I upload on Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. So I'll remember those days when I wake up on those days. And I'm like, I feel like it's been a few days since I uploaded. I'll check. Yeah. And I'll be like, yeah, okay, perfect. It is literally upload same. Day. That's Sunday, it. If I didn't, Tuesday, Thursday. <laughs> yeah, if I didn't That's have specific fine. upload dates, I would have no idea what day of the week it is ever. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, and if I, I upload kind of on nice. an off day, it throws me off for like the whole week. Like if I upload oh, yeah, on same. Wednesday or something, yeah. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I forget what day it is now. Yeah, like, like if a sponsor is like, can you do a Monday instead of a Tuesday upload? I just, the rest of that week, I'm just in fucking shambles. Yeah, I'm like, the <laughs> week is ruined. Eating, eating breakfast at 9 p.m., not knowing what's happening anymore. <laughs> there have been a couple times four. where I have like forgot that it's podcast day. Cause like I'll be like my I feel like Couple my whole really? day. Oh, <laughs> no shit, really? I'm not, I'm not talking about say. like pre, like pre episode eighty. Like everything up until episode eighty, I was terrible. Actually, I don't know what changed at episode eighty. <laughs> we had a Get Twitter a argument. <laughs> we DM'd about it. Hey, be on yeah. time, asshole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I used uh, those were so those were the days where me and Blarg would just sit. In Discord and talk to one another. We should have just recorded. Yeah, honestly, me and Blark we should have been here for like an hour by ourselves. Oh! Just talking about anything. <laughs> I wasn't dude, What do you mean, do? What the fuck? Uh, it, it, I am, dude, dude would be there on occasions. I, I, dude I, would be there what? on occasions. No, yeah. dog. I'm like 10 minutes late always. I'm consistent. <laughs> he says I'll be 10 minutes, and it's usually a good 40, 50 minutes. You yeah. are well, not anymore. Shit out. We've, got, then, we've gotten a lot better. We've gotten a lot better. Yeah, now that we monetize <laughs> this and it's actually a job. <laughs> now, we have <laughs> now that money's yeah. online. Yeah, we have like a contract that says we have to be here. It's, um, no, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah but sometimes if, like, I feel like my whole week will shift either like forward or backwards a day. Like I'll think I'll be thinking it's Tuesday when it's Wednesday or like vice versa. Vice versa. But vice sometimes versa. I'll, I'll, sometimes I'll be going... Why is it funny? <laughs> That's like what he said. He sounded like an Italian guy. Vice versa. Vice versa. I guess, but yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, 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 no, 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 no. You're Australian today? You're doing the Australian thing. Yeah, no, like, yeah, nah. That's actually, a, uh, I think that's yeah, a California nah, thing. Yeah. To say yeah, no, no, yeah, a lot. Like, you you can say yeah, no, and but you're you're saying yeah, no, even though you mean no. But if you go no, yeah, you're, you mean yeah, so it's like weird. Typical California stealing other people's cultures. <laughs> pretty sure it's Australia. <laughs> ah, my hat. Speaking of uh, weird sayings, I had like last week I was bitching about my my solar panels. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> I had a. a <laughs> Remember, we got an update great, on the solar panels. A great I have, solar panel fiasco. <laughs> I had a call from my solar panel company today. And it was a guy that I don't think I've <laughs> Hey, spoken. stop shit-talking us on the Goons podcast, asshole. <laughs> we heard what you no, said. they're actually coming and doing their fucking job, finally. Oh, and good. the guy, he was not Southern at all, like, had no Southern accent. But he called me Brother Man an uncomfortable amount of times on the phone. <laughs> like, I'm, I swear to God, he called what me Brother Man. What is an uncomfortable amount? More than one? 
Dude, yeah, like <laughs> I feel, yeah, I feel like anything over like two is it's just weird. Yeah, like yeah, once I'm yeah. like, yeah, all right, that's fine, and then second is like, me, okay, Does yeah, he he called me brother man, like that. Dude, yeah, he he, it, oh my god, how did the phone call go? Something like, yeah, brother man, we'll be there this weekend. Yeah, no worries, brother man. Like, and then he called me brother man. I don't know how he did it, like four or five times, and I'm like, is this guy like? Shit posting, <laughs> like right now, I, I can't tell if he's Shit being. <laughs> like, I can't tell if he's being he's genuine. He's on the phone now. <laughs> Honestly, like just brother man, brother man, brother he's man. Like, yeah, but, I'll be there next week, dumbass. Uh, okay, let's. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then like two hours later, he calls me back and calls me brother man again. So I, I was like trying to keep count in my head. He, dude, he probably called me brother man five or six times on the phone. He just starts it being was, like really snot. He's like brother man. I'm gonna be there soon. <laughs> Brother, brother man. man. <laughs> hey, is this brother man? <laughs> <laughs> like, for some reason, on the, like on the contract for the solar, their name is actually brother man. Brother man. <laughs> Legit thinks that your name, that's your name. Dude, I was like, like. You could have been like a 60-year-old man. Like, it's weird that he just like, like, I, yeah. I guess woman. talking to like a 25-year-old is a little better calling him brother man. But like, can you imagine calling somebody's grandpa brother man six times brother over man. the phone? Brother <laughs> man. I thought about saying something. I was like. Do you just like the saying brother man? I actually I don't, identify I don't, like, as a woman, fucker. <laughs> Dude, you you would have probably made him feel hella weird if you said that. I know. That's why I didn't. I'm like, am I just supposed to accept being called brother man 12 <laughs> times on the phone? Like, I don't. You should have started calling I, him a random name and stuck with it. It just keeps. Uh, yeah, okay, Carl. For sure. Yeah, I should have been like, sure yeah, thing, good, chicken Carl. wing. <laughs> 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 All right, sister woman. All right, yeah. turkey. <laughs> That's funny. That's so funny. Well, I'm glad we got the solar panel update. Everyone's been waiting on. Oh, yeah, man. people have been. Everyone's hanging been on, on the, the edge of their one. seat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Episode two of the I solar panel. I almost titled the last show. podcast just "Soup Solar Panel Situation." <laughs> that would have been a fucking panel. <laughs> that would have been a horrible. I'm no, ain't nobody click on that fucking podcast. podcast. That would be like 25 out of views. 10. <laughs> yeah, what if it was like a one out of 10? People were just like super interested. in Really interested in solar. To be fair. Yeah. I want to hear oh, about man. blood piss. Piss blood now. Oh, yeah. Go. So, yeah. Yesterday, I pissed blood. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Let's yeah. go. Dump yeah, it out yeah. the chat. Like on the video event. for McNasty pissing blood. Save it Once on Spotify for McNasty pissing blood. Yes, sir. Yeah. No, but yeah, very scary. Very scary to go piss. Because, like, when you go and piss, and you, you're watching your stream, your brain is just like, it's like, okay, it's yellow. Like, your brain is, and then when you do, and it, you go, and it's brown. It just completely yeah, throws a, you off. Yeah, that that would that would really really switch switch it up if you're when used it looks to like yellow and clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just a stream of like penis. McDonald's Coke coming out of your cockle when you pee out a brother man turd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's weird too because like my first my first instinct was to stop pissing because it's like you're seeing something coming out of your body that's wrong and not like normal. But I just kept pissing and then I started pushing it out harder, which probably made it worse. But, um, How did you piss harder? Because I was like, I didn't want to look at it anymore. I was like, why is this happening? <laughs> get it over with. Go. So you started yeah. straining. Oh, like you know, if you get if you, it like, out of me. If you like cut your finger, like your first instinct is to like you know cover it or put something on it. You know, not not to I just sit hungry. there and let it bleed. Oh, I, well, you must I, be a weirdo I then. <laughs> I get very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, but yeah, I went to... No, <laughs> stop but doing yeah. that, brother man. Brother man, brother man shut man. up. Brother, brother man, man. You, brother man, you got to stop. Brother man, Blood stick my to piss, brother man. Um, yeah, so I went to the hospital, and I pissed. Like that. It's funny, too. When I went to the hospital, obviously, I had to piss in a cup. And when I pissed in a cup, it was even darker than it was when I initially had to piss. Well, that's did probably they, a good thing. Did they examine your ding dong? Uh, No. Because I, they asked me a bunch of questions. They were like, you know, bad does, does your, bad does your cock containers sucks, hurt? Honestly. Like, they were asking me a bunch of shit like, <laughs> have you been in a car <laughs> crash recently? Yeah. Like, they, were, they, were, they were asking me shit to figure out if I had, like, in, like internal damage or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just like, no, no, no. So I just went and sat for a while, and then I <clears throat> they took a blood test, piss test, and they just said that it was we're like, yeah, you have blood in your urine, and then I had to get a fucking CT. Have you guys ever had a CT scan before? Yeah, yeah. those things are fucking I think scary. So. It's weird. It's it feels very mm -hmm. dystopian. Yeah, it's like, very odd. I feel like just, whenever I've gotten it, I feel like I'm in like the start of like a sci-fi movie. Yeah, like uh, yeah. I recently played the game. World <laughs> Have you guys ever played Soma? Nope. No. no. So I recently streamed that game, and the and the beginning of Soma, this guy goes in and he 
he gets a brain scan because like he was recently in a car crash and his brain is like bleeding and then the he, he wakes up like 200 years in the future and his brain was uploaded to like a, a body like somebody else's like robot body and that's what it felt like i feel like i was getting like a body scan and i'm just gonna like my conscience is just going to be uploaded in some like future fat dude. Going to wake up as a cyborg. Future fat dude. They're putting, yeah. they're putting you in Walt Disney's body. This isn't real right now. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> so like, what was it? Were you actually like? I've never pissed blood, so I don't know what it's no, like. Neither. It's not like when you go and piss. It's not like you're pissing straight blood. Right. It's mixed have, in with your urine. Right? You just have dark ass pee. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, just ended up being like a really small kidney stone. After I got my mm. CT scan, he came back at like a half hour later and was like, "Did you pass?" He was it? like, "Yeah, did no, pass no." Or did they, so did they like stones... blow it up with the fucking? Don't they? Can they blow those up if they're too big with like some sort of radiation like shit or something? Yeah, yeah, they yeah stick no. a dynamite stick, dynamite stick, stick, in, your stick in your cock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a little urethra sized dynamite. <laughs> no, but they will put like a um, they'll put like a tube or something up your like urethra. Oh! And... <laughs> Sorry, the thought of that That's, just yeah, yep. sounding a tube. Yeah, I, I feel like usually when they do that, though, you're probably under anesthesia or something. Not me, mind. boy. Not me. I, I could have uploaded that on soundingtube.com. Yeah, That's they need website. footage. They need footage. <laughs> soundingtube.com. Is yes, that real? Competitor to YouTube. <laughs> there is our right. slash sounding. Switching, I'm switching to there. If yeah, YouTube there is our slash sounding. Next. It's fucking insane. <laughs> I uh, there's uh I saw R slash uh, sounding in a in a fucking comment section. Oh my god! And uh, I clicked on it. First thing was a dude putting a little fucking uh, Phillips head screwdriver straight up his cockle. Oh yeah, I saw a dude mm. put an iPhone in his dick. Not How entirely. Do you know it wasn't a, not How entirely, do you know it wasn't but it was a flathead like, screwdriver. He, he pulled like, the screwdriver oh, out. It was oh. like, oh. like a, yeah, he like like it was like a like unsheathing a sword. <laughs> I saw the iPhone one, but that was just uh, around his um. Foreskin, probably. Foreskin, yeah. Oh, we've yeah, seen two different sense. iPhone in the dick hole pictures. <laughs> I think so. How many <laughs> iPhone in the dick hole pictures can there be? At bro? least two, apparently. Not you enough. Know, R slash iPhone in the dick hole. Yeah. I'm not so bad about it. Fuck. I feel like that guitar behind me is like way too big. Like it's bigger than it should be. I don't know why. Yeah, we can't fucking see you. So yeah, we can't see. Oh, you. that's true. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. You could have like a nine. You could have just told us you have like a nine foot guitar behind us. Or behind you. It's just very where it where, like very whoa whoa huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you just passed the kidney stone then? No, I I, I will eventually. Oh, kidney are you still pissing sit, blood? They sit in your no, like even when I came home after the hospital, I I pissed and it was normal. I pissed this morning. It was a little yeah. bit dark, but I think just can the, you can you came out a kidney stone? Is that possible? No, it comes out of a different like <laughs> the kidney stone's not in your nuts. That would be a nuts stone. That's unfortunate. Stone. Give it a little yeah. squeeze. Like, oh. if you, yeah, if you had ball stones, you'd be able to come it out, but... Ball stones? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got two of them in there. I don't know what they're doing. They ain't come out yet. <laughs> You're not squeezing hard enough. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, good luck on that. I hope you don't have to pass it. Are you trying yeah, to dissolve gonna, it, or... What if you fail yeah, instead yeah, of passing I'm an, it? I'm going to try, and... Uh, well, if I fail, then I have to... If, I failed my uh, surgically kidney stone removed. test. But they said oh. it's so. They said it's like really, really small. That's good. So like, Why it even form? A, I have no idea. Like I, I, I know a lot of people were commenting on the on the, my tweets and be like, "Hey, dude, drink more water." But I drink an ungodly amount of water every day. Well, it also might be because you're on keto. That's uh, there is. Yeah, but I've only been on keto for like a month and a half. Well, just like fatty food in general, like fatty and greasy can make um, kidney stones. <laughs> Well, don't we all have kidney stones, but it's just when they move or something? Like, no. aren't there already some uh, inside I of think, you? I think they, like, slowly... Or maybe... What is it? Is what it happens is you're, you, you have bladder? to... I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm not exactly sure. But I feel like diet is a big part of it. Unless I'm thinking of something else, but I feel like diet is a big part of, like... Kidney stone, kidney what, what usually mm -hmm. what comes from... A, a lot of what causes kidney stones is, like, uh, soda. So people who drink a lot of soda, um, the, I think it's phosphoric acid or something... It causes the it causes crystals in your kidney to stick yeah, together. Okay. And that's what causes that what that's what forms a kidney stone. That's pretty metal. Yeah, calcium, but it's, oxalate, and uric acid. Yeah, you're, if you have a uric acid uh, kidney stone, then you can dissolve it. But like a regular, a regular kidney stone, which usually most people get, 
you can't dissolve them. You have to pass them. Interesting. Maybe I'm, I might be thinking of something else then, because I thought it was I thought they were diet related, but they look like I mean they kind of are. Related. Like if you're if you're eating a well, lot of crap. Like, yeah. I think the only reason I haven't had one up until now is just because I drink so much water. Like when I got my blood test uh, like a, a couple months ago, my kidney function, like my filtration rate or whatever, was perfect. Which is actually surprising that I got a kidney stone considering my kidneys are running literally flawless. <laughs> I don't know how I haven't fucking had one. Apparently, a uh, diet that's high in protein and sodium causes it. I uh -oh. eat so much fucking salt and so much fucking protein. It's a matter of time for us. Yeah, yeah. dude, we're fucked, buddy. <laughs> It's a matter yeah, of my, time. Uh, my vocalist for uh, End of an Era, he, said, he, he told me yesterday that he's had four. Oh, my oh, God. That's time and to he, maybe change something, buddy. That's, yeah, there's got to be uh, something going on. He's almost, like, he's almost 10 years younger than me, too. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I've, that, that's I've never a had one. I drink a, a good amount of water as well, though. Yeah. But if yeah. I if I buy, like, I have to, like, not buy soda. Because if I buy soda, woo boy, like, I'm the sucking them yeah. down. Out the house. Yeah, yeah that's how I am, too. I wish soda didn't yeah. taste good. I've always loved soda. I just, I've never really cared for it that much. I feel like the only time I really crave soda is when I'm eating something that's already, like, dog shit. Like, if I'm eating McDonald's, I'll crave soda. But, like, on yeah. a normal day... I just, I don't know why, I just had never cared about soda. Like, there's so many, like, I feel like there's, like, whiskey for me, which is so much worse. Or it's like, I yeah. I crave, like, whiskey and alcohol well uh, over, like, having a soda. It's pizza for me. Pizza, I, oh, I mean, pizza food is a different fucking thing, but. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I, uh, I, 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 I keep, I drink zero sugar everything, like, anything zero sugar I'll drink. Yeah. But I only ever drink them with a meal. So, like, two diet sodas a day, sometimes three if I'll have, like, just a random craving for one. <clears throat> Did you but, three uh, diet sodas a day? No, no. I, I uh, said two. Oh, I mean, that's still... I, I usually only eat, like, twice a that's day. That's still I don't pretty know. substantial. Yeah, yeah but like I, two, I don't like that. diet soda. <laughs> no, diet soda tastes like taste chemicals. The taste I don't like diet soda it. either, but zero sugar soda, like, the, the way that they make zero sugar now is so much better than, like, diet stuff. Aspartame. <laughs> Yeah. Sucralose. Yeah, I don't like yeah. I don't like any of it. I just drink straight up soda. Like if I if I want a Pepsi, I'm getting a Pepsi. I'm not yeah. getting some. Uh, right. Like I don't drink it at, at an amount that I need to have like a diet soda. So. Yeah. It's one of those well, things where like if you do it enough, your body will actually crave the the diet um, sugars more than actual sugar. That's like, like I prefer whatever you feed your body. That's what it's yeah, going to yeah. crave like, more. <laughs> whatever gives you nutrition. Yeah, it's not like I, like if I drank a Pepsi right, like a regular Pepsi, I would be grossed out by it. It's just I like constantly prefer zero sugar soda over like actual sugar soda. Yeah, I mean and that I'm makes just sense. Dieting too, and I don't. I crave fucking... gamer subs. Yes, sir. I also crave gamer subs. I crave using code goons. <clears throat> yeah, that's actually what caused my uh, uh, amount of money off. That's what yeah, caused my kidney stone. If you want to piss blood, drink gamer subs <laughs> all go. day, every day. <laughs> Sponsored by G Subs, baby. I'm drinking Blowhole Blast right now. I'm drinking <laughs> mashed up Smurf right now. <laughs> mashed up Smurf. I'm drinking that Slurp juice, boy. I don't know what the it. fuck just happened to me. I'm Dude, no way nothing. you can't afford a real water bottle. You were just drinking microplastics every day. I well, I I didn't have anything clean this morning, so I just made this in a in a pinch. I'm drinking Yeti <laughs> in a pinch. <laughs> You're the goofiest little guy. He's good goons at Yeti. Thank you, man. Okay. I, you don't, know, don't I do that. Just kidding, don't do that. I appreciate you saying that. Unless you want to sponsor us, Yeti, please. That would be <clears bad. throat> I mean, yours is more of a musical instrument at this point than a fucking drink holder. You'd just be making noise with that thing. <laughs> ring, ding, ding, dong. Join the stomp fucking... already. Yeah. <laughs> that was like one of the first things I did when I went to McNasty's house was grab his Join Yeti. stomp? And oh. drop it on the and, floor. And, and set it down as lightly as I could, and it was still so loud. Yeah, that's so, so weird because I have one that's the same size and like, I don't know, maybe it's just the way your floors are, but mine's just like yeah, I have like solid tile it. floor. Oh, oh yeah, They're like yeah, it's I like guess. marble flooring or something. Just I don't know. Dong. Dong. Yeah. yeah, this dude got it's marble not. floors. And then the reverb too it causes, and it's just like yeah, it's it's a mess. I have my yeah. Yeti right here. Let's see what sound it makes on concrete. <laughs> it sounds so that's me, bad. That that's me like setting a, it uh, down pretty hard too. That sounded like a wood down. block metronome. Yeah, set it I down. Set and, it down in four four time for me. 
Oh, you got a little offbeat there. Oh, did I? <laughs> did I? Yeah, buddy. The whole band's <laughs> fucked now. I'm sorry I can't play the Yeti and Concrete Floor good enough for your musically trained ear. It's okay. I am assuming you're pretending you're a beginner, and then you're going to blow me yeah. away here in a second. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then he comes out with like 17 six. Yeah, I start playing Bleed on the floor. He's got four of them playing in four poly rhythms. Five against four against three against two. God, that sounds like a fucking nightmare. You ever see those videos where they'll do like, they'll do like 11-9 or something? They'll have like the numbers circled in the, the opposite of, uh, the opposite of 11, 11. They drop a building 11, on a plane. <laughs> yeah. They build a building. Doesn't it have to be a, an even number on the can, nine? Would, would nine work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh man. <laughs> I'm not sure. If you which. pass your kidney stone, are you going to keep it? Yeah, you should. You we'll should frame it. it. You should actually sell it. That would be a good meme. <laughs> All right, eBay. chat, start bidding. Start bidding. Are you allowed to put kidney stones on eBay? So. You're not allowed oh, to sell any, you? like, I don't think you can sell anything that comes from your body. Bro. Because I'm pretty sure Too Mad tried to sell his hair, but he couldn't because like eBay has like a... What hair? Oh, well, he Isn't shaved his head a long time ago. It was like a few years ago. No. He had hair and then he like shaved it what and tried to sell it. What is Too Mad up to these days? Does he still upload? Just... I uh, I rated him the other day on Twitch. He was I playing like, like he, Overwatch or something. I feel like he oh he yeah, yeah. Shit. He'll play Overwatch and he won't say a word. He's dirty. He'll just play he's Overwatch. Actually, he's actually oh, yeah, dirty. He's fucking Overwatch. insane at Overwatch. He's pretty <clears throat> really? at video games. I suck at Overwatch, dude. I don't get it. He hasn't uploaded in five months. Dang. He's chilling. That's sad. That's me. He might actually. He might upload on his other channel. Yeah, I feel like he has multiple. I know he's still tweets. Oh yeah, four days ago. Yeah, all right, I. Yeah, I was on his, uh, I don't even know which one's his main channel anymore, because 2 Mad 360 used to be his second channel, right? Second, yeah. Yeah, but now that one has more subs than his main, so I don't know what the fuck, I don't know what the fuck channel's what anymore. I was hoping that was going to happen with McNasty, and I could just abandon my main channel. Abandon it? Why abandon you your abandon channel with 2 million channel? subscribers. I don't know. <laughs> Why Man. are you so dumb? There have been, there have been, so like, Schlatt, right? Schlatt has a main channel, but he, he hasn't uploaded on like two years. But his, the channel he does... He uploads Flat on now. also owns like nine businesses. Why would yeah, you no, not keep but I'm saying, like, there an extra are, money source there, that's free? There have been a few YouTubers who have like moved on to a new channel that ended up doing better than their actual original channel. A oh, few, there's some people who have cut few, their so legs off and got gold medals in the Special Olympics. Why would you like, you don't need to you just, do, just there's stay that kidney on it. Stone. There's that kidney stone. It's coming, baby. This is what McNasty does every time Every time he's <laughs> losing an argument. He just, he just does that. Coming. He just makes sense. He's like the world's worst lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> um, your Honor. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> we literally saw him kill this guy in, in the middle of the day with a knife. Just <laughs> <laughs> Not guilty. You're such a fuck ass. It's insane. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually surprised I have like well enough energy right now. I was kind of tired when I woke up. Yeah. Take, piss and long. blood takes, uh, takes a lot out of you. <laughs> yeah. It takes yeah. a toll on you. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody mentioned eBay and I want to, I want to share something with you guys. This is a very legitimate, <laughs> very All legitimate right. ad that was posted um, okay. Okay. on, I think it was Craigslist. This guy. So not eBay. Well, whatever. It reminded me anyway. This guy, I, dude, I saw this. I've seen this before. This guy, yeah, he. This is a picture of a guy who will pay you one hundred and fifty dollars oh, to yeah. swim around oh in your God. septic tank. Now, this is very real. This is not. Now, a, dude, is this you? Like, are you plugging yourself? Yeah, yeah, dude, <laughs> why, I'm not gonna lie. It, it when when like I Deuce first Max. saw this, dude, when I <laughs> literally when I first saw this, the, the first person that came to my mind was dude. Well, like, <laughs> well. Now, listen. Just let me self promo for a minute. I will pay you. I will pay you one hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> to swim around in your septic tank. Now, click on that Reddit link for a video of him actually doing it. He goes in I there. Have to sign I've in. seen this. He goes in there with no his little way. GoPro and he swims around in his septic tank. Now, here's what the ad reads for the Spotify listeners. Some people might judge me for this, but it's what I enjoy. I will pay you $150 an hour to bring my equipment in and gain access to your septic tank. I then have my associate close the tank after I've set my tripod up and camera. Believe it or not, it's a great place to reflect. No, it's not. To reflect? That's, that's <laughs> the only reason. That's the reason he goes in there. Not anything sexual or... Yeah, I mean, it's an untapped market. Uh, he could go you know, to dude, a park to reflect. He could go, I'm you know, hiring whatever, him. but like... I got two septic tanks for him to come in. That's 300 bucks, bucks for me. 
Yep. Do you think he um, goes in there and like checks off? Stocks. Well, look at look at I, look I at the Reddit. Well, he records it. Look right? at the Reddit he video. He goes in and he like bathes in it and stuff. Dude, that's like he's gonna die. Like that's we, we should get him on the disorder. podcast. I would love him. to get him on the podcast. Poop Although actual, I think he's a felon. Yeah, he he will have the best actually, poop story ever on the Goons podcast. This guy, this guy, this guy's out pooped me, and I'm kind of jealous to be honest. Imagine what his mattress looks like. <laughs> okay, so I, I so I have I have questions. Like this guy's actually covered in head to toe in shit. Mm -hmm. Does he get in his car after this? Like, what happens after he gets out of the tank? Yeah. You think somebody that spends all their money climbing into people's septic tanks has enough money to afford a car? <laughs> Does he just He's walk? walking home. He walks. He's Does walking he home. He gets on a Is bus. He gets, identity in known? <laughs> he gets an Uber. Public transport. <laughs> well, somebody in the Reddit says that this guy's name is Gary Moody, who's a guy that I've actually brought up before, who is the guy well, yeah, that got that arrested up. for... Uh, Sitting in the bottom of a porta potty and watching women shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so I, that. so I think uh, this guy's actually like a criminal. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so his his love for poo has landed him in nothing but a career in getting in people's septic tanks because yeah, of his yeah. But he's not. He's, he it's not a career because he's, he's a criminal. Well, he has to be. How is this being funded? He has to have. Some I'd say that's a pretty normal that is job. True. That is true. Because yeah. he's paying people a good you rate. He's got like a, a GoFundMe. I mean, Gary Moody is climbing into stream? people's septic does he, tanks. Does he stream on, on yeah, Live just, Leak or whatever? He just streams Overwatch on Twitch. Normal, <laughs> normal guy. It's completely normal aside from that. <laughs> yeah, no, I just, I mean, he's got to have ultimate pink eye or something. I, he's got to have every disease. Yeah. Dude, I'd like to probably, ask him about his uh, his uniform. Is it like poo proof? Or he might not it, even have a uniform on. He might just look like that. Poopophobic. <laughs> That's how his body has morphed. To defend against poo particles. Oh yeah, well, dude, that is fucking insane. Who is his associate? How much is yeah. his associate getting paid? Like, what, what if is he's on like salary for like quarter million dollars a year? His associate, just like <laughs> an insanely high paying job to watch this guy slop around and shit like a pig. Yeah, this dude, that guy does not need any vaccines. He is immune to everything. That's dude. He that's can, what I was saying the other day. Like, I was sharing this with with uh with Spoon. And I was like, this guy has to have, like, all immunities to everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. That guy can do anything, and he's he's fine. Yeah. That guy, that guy, that's fucking insane. What a cool guy. Yeah. Very we interesting definitely get him life. on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, he'd be our first actual convicted felon on the podcast. Well. Well. well <laughs> there might be never one mind, coming up. Uh, <laughs> We might have, We've actually we might had to delete several soon. podcasts. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is it us that's doing this, man? Like, are yeah. we the problem? Do people just come on the Goons podcast, get mad, and go, I'm going to fucking sexually assault the minor? Like, <laughs> <laughs> out of those guys just drove me insane. Like, what? Maybe, are we the problem? Maybe, maybe we need us. to do the... Maybe we, we'll have the uh, reverse effect on Pooh Man, and he'll become, like, the CEO of, yeah. like, <laughs> a big man. oil company or something. <laughs> like, I feel like maybe he's already, like, a big tech startup guy. Like, he lived what in, if? like... Yeah. He lived in, like... Um, what, it is pretty impressive that he can fucking... I guess... I don't know if he streams himself... Or even even the fact that he records himself in a septic tank like that's a pretty <laughs> impressive setup he's got going. Maybe it's on, just man. like yeah. Doctor Fauci doing some research in there. <laughs> so he's just got this infinite amount of money to just go to people's houses and swim in their shit. Yeah, I, I would invite him over. I wish I had a septic tank. I might buy a house with one so I can meet this guy. To be fair, if you told Fill me he was like a love year. my house. I if got you told two. me he was like the CEO of like QuickBooks or like Quicken, I feel like I would believe that. <laughs> CEO of like, LinkedIn swims in septic tanks now. Yeah. He has nothing else to do until it's tax season, so he just swims <laughs> around in people's shit. Exactly. He's, it's all write-offs. <laughs> it's part of the business. It's a <laughs> oh my god, he probably doesn't pay any taxes. This is all write-offs because he has an associate, he has a he has an employee. <laughs> it's all write-offs. They'd be in the net negative through their company, so yeah, the, the government would be like, ah, no taxes, he's losing money over there. Oh in reality, he's just swimming in shit until <laughs> April. <laughs> how do you how how would you report that sort of income? Like, yeah, I, I swim in people's shit. That's my full time thing. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess I, reckon just I mean, like that. sex workers have to describe their shit. Like, you know, not that much different, I guess. Yeah, but that's like still pretty common. Like, people know that hookers and shit exist. What and, raises like, more of an eyebrow, hookers or swimming in septic tanks? Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, definitely septic tank. Now that you're saying it out loud. Yeah. I mean, prostitution <laughs> is the oldest profession in the world. Septic, ta septic tanks have probably only been around for a hundred years. Yeah, yeah, probably. Humans used to, used to just walk down the sidewalk and it was full of human shit and stuff. So. <laughs> I gotta yeah. pee. I'll be right back.
Three time. Yeah, he's, he's going to monkey. fill his septic tank yeah. up for the guys. <laughs> he's, he's, he's going to check out a house with a septic tank real quick. <laughs> it's so yeah. fucking weird. Nobody say anything uh, until Duke gets back. You want to just sit in silence and look at his little monkey? <laughs> just, imagine like listening to the podcast and all of a sudden it just goes silent for like 80 seconds. I'd probably think my like speaker's broke. I'd yeah. probably go insane. Well, that's like I started because uh, my best of, I forget what year it was. I think it was a 2021. But my opening clip was the clip of like us being silent for like about a <clears> minute <throat> and something. And we're just playing Siege, normal gameplay. And then that's when Grizzly's like, I'm thinking about drinking tonight. Like that's that clip, mm. I, I opened one of my videos with it. And literally half the comments were like, dude, I thought my fucking headphones were broken. They were like actually <laughs> upset. <laughs> Yeah, so funny. I learned not to do that. But I'm going to be honest. I put it there strictly so the video would get monetized because the first minute was complete silence. If they could find something to demonetize there, then I, I don't I don't want to fucking know anymore. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what's going to happen with YouTube's new CEO. I wonder if there's going to be any like major changes. Apparently, he was, uh, he was the one that was pushing NFTs and shit, so not a yeah. good sign. Not he also had uh, a card to play in the whole uh, removing the dislike button thing, too. Yeah, he did do that as well. So just full of great ideas all around the board. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Susan fucking Wahonky wasn't exactly great, but, like, fuck, at least she just did nothing. I, I really still will never understand why the dislike button is still there, but only we can see it. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's so stupid. Well, I get why they, they did it so, like, people would... Uh, like stop like you know sending like basically hate crowds towards like creators getting canceled and shit it's the same reason they got rid of like the live sub count so people would just stop unsubbing and like to watch you know people's careers fall apart they wanted to kind of that's like it's necessary though like you need to know like yeah like like if a creator fucked a kid and people are you know people need (laughs) to welcome back too (laughs) welcome back we're talking about yeah. uh, like if I went and found a new creator business. and his most recent video has like a fucking twenty percent to eighty percent this like like to dislike ratio, I would want to know why, and then I would find out that he was like a horrible person, you know. Are you talking well, about I would mainly, dislikes or what? I would mainly use it as a gauge for like if oh, I was yeah. watching a tutorial about how to yeah. wire up an oven in my home yeah. and how not to like kill myself. But now it's like because you, know, you know like if you watch like tutorial videos and shit, you would. You'd be like, oh, okay, well, this guy's or whatever is doing something that I need to watch a tutorial for. And you would immediately, I would go to the comments and the likes and dislikes to see if yeah. what they're saying is actually yeah, working. Tutorials yeah. are easy, though. Just... If the video doesn't start off with, my friend, today, I'm, I'm, yeah. it's going to yeah, be bad. No, bad okay, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to update Windows for free. <laughs> 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 if it doesn't sound like that, it ain't a good tutorial. <laughs> Always trust the Indian dudes with the the tech savvy <laughs> shit for sure dude it's so funny yeah i, I used to uh, be making them over there i used to when i was younger and i would like mess around with like a lot of android phones and stuff i would always go on youtube and look up tutorials and like how to i guess uh, i forget what it's called rooting like your phone kind of like yeah yeah it's like it's, it's called rooting for android though yeah. and like you know if i went on there and it was like the first three comments were like oh your link is a scam and then you know there's there's one like and then like 80 dislikes i yeah. would immediately just click off the video but yeah, now you can't. You wouldn't even know. I guess you could for, still read the comments, but for context too, we're talking about YouTube's new CEO. How he was the one that got rid of, helped get rid of dislikes, and he also pushed NFTs. And NFT boy, yep. Yeah. yeah, all sorts of nonsense. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't even exactly understand how hopeful. NFTs and YouTube would work together. I don't understand they, that they concept. Wouldn't NFTs don't work with anything? That's why they're fucking useless. Yeah, now. yeah I don't know. I don't know what crack he was smoking for that one. I think but. the the only thing that i i guess i would see how an nft would be useful is when like i've seen bands use it and when bands use it in like an actual good way like for their fan club or whatever so like people that are in their fan club get an nft but they're getting like exclusive stuff with with it's like it's basically just like it shows their i guess dedication to a fan club I feel but like, they're actually uh, receiving benefits from it, and it's not just yeah, like, a, not just oh, a I, I paid, monkey. Ten, yeah. I paid yeah. 10 grand for a monkey, monkey profile PNG. picture. Yeah, that yeah, looks yeah. fucking goofy. That's the I only feel like time I've seen a use for it. It makes sense for actual artists, too, that are making stuff that aren't just fucking PNGs of monkeys that look like they belong on, like, a Four loco can. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, like, actual <laughs> artists, to be able to, to, be able to like, sell their, uh, sell their art and, like, have, like, 
like I own this piece and there's no debating that I own this piece because on the internet it's like yeah I can put my watermark on it but then some guy comes with a fucking clone stamp tool and just fucking yep. covers it with some other nonsense like <sighs> I get like to actually have an artist make something say this is mine it's on the blockchain and then be able to sell it like I love it for that reason I think it's great it's like owning a actual piece of art but like it's so fucking stupid that it just it instantly became a money laundering scheme like of actual course art. The, it, the internet yeah. will take anything like that and just turn it into it's some, essentially, some I mean, money laundering somehow. it's essentially just like a yeah. physical like a like a visual bitcoin it's 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 literally yeah, just like the of. same it's thing as like because you buy goal, bitcoin really. it's like you know you have bitcoin but you can't really like see it yeah but the I, problem is too is like the the nfts like the popular nfts they're literally just like it's a like a random image generator like there's no like yeah, originality to it it's like oh i just have this ape that has a hat on and vampire teeth you know yeah i think there's a lot of good stuff there but i think a lot of people just look at it as like a <clears throat> i'm gonna become a millionaire overnight oh, so a cash rich scheme, yeah. Yeah. yeah and, and like rich quick scheme point zero one percent actually do and almost no one else does yeah yeah i, I mean it's like regular fucking stocks too people gamble on that shit fucking yeah. I love r slash Wall Street bets. Just watching people lose their entire fucking life savings because they saw somebody on Wall Street bets say buy this. It's like, bro, what are you doing? Like, it's just, <laughs> it's like, just not realistic. Right 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 yeah. But then when it works and the share, shareholders get upset, no, no, you cannot do that. Naughty, <laughs> naughty. We will stop the stock. Not going yeah. to happen. <laughs> Anyway, what were you saying, dude? I feel like I I, I talked oh, at the no, same you're time fine. as you did. I was just gonna say I can't believe like how, and, and P- NFTs are in like every realm of of the entire universe. I opened a fortune cookie yesterday, and there was an NFT no in way. the fortune cookie. What? what? No yeah. shot. Yep. What the? One fuck? side. Like, what does that even mean? One like, side. One side had your fortune, like you know, like live long and no eat, fortune today. suck dick or whatever, and then the other side had like a little. Little uh, cartoon ape with a, with a little <laughs> blockchain code on it and everything, and it's like, Bro. Yeah, no way. yeah, I would burn that restaurant. So the that's ground. how worthless those things are five, now. Like five fortune. Cent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I got like I got like garlic chicken for ten bucks and an NFT with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, almost man. like it, it's almost like the, that Chinese restaurant has no idea what an actual NFT is, and they just wanted to like just be a hop part of on the, the trend. The <laughs> crazy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, I I genuinely like could not believe that. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty crazy. I've never seen an NFT like IRL. I've only ever seen it online. Like a first time for me is too. Or IRL, like what? Well, I guess that's not the actual <clears throat> NFT. You scan it to get your little digital. Yeah, yeah, meme, obviously but, it's you know, yeah. it's not. Yeah. But still, like paper, I think but. some of them are physical. Like some, really? you can is have it? some physical NFT that that's really? tied to something. I, I I think so. I don't. I'm not knowledgeable on that at all. No, yeah, yeah I don't. Either. I don't know enough. I don't care enough about it to like know. I think I'll put my money in more reliable shit. Yeah, like the things that have been making money for the last oh, I don't know hundred years. Yeah. Like yeah, burying it in my septic tank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Direct yeah. deposit into my septic tank, please. Yeah, that's just well. <laughs> yeah, I don't even like the regular stock market. Thinking about like actual NFT and Bitcoin investing is fucking stupid. You used to do a lot of stock stuff before YouTube, huh? Yeah, I did, and then that's why I hate it. <laughs> like I got mm. lucky like a few times and you know, made pretty good chunk of money like three or four times because it was right when uh I got in at a good time where like marijuana was kind of being legalized in Canada. Uh. Um so there was like four or five uh grow houses that went public. <laughs> Um, and yeah, they were, uh, they were like, I don't know, just insanely fast growing and the number just went up and then it crashed. But luckily I, I pulled out pretty early in it, so I didn't really lose anything, but, uh, yeah, (laughs) I don't know. Just like realizing like how addicting it was and how like obsessed with sitting there like all day on my phone, just fucking refresh, 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 refresh. And it's just like, Mm -hmm. dude, like it's just, it's fucking insane. So just like. I don't know. The only investments I am interested in are like physical property and, you know, stuff like that or commodities that are not going anywhere. Yeah. Like land houses, stuff like that. My cousin that I used to live with, uh, in the house that was like a far away from town, he was doing like stock trading for a little bit. And there was one trade where he like, he like during his sleep, it went up. He would have made 200 grand if he would have woke up earlier. Damn. Man, he woke up later and it, it just crashed down to like below what he like it was before. 
And now he has insomnia. He was like, <laughs> he doesn't like, I think <laughs> after that he sense. stopped doing it. Cause he's just like, man, this is like it's, really fucking exhausting. up my mental health. That's way too volatile exhausting. to keep up with. That's insane. That I mean, like, yeah, there's a lot of, of like, to, go ahead. Blood. Sorry. I was gonna say there's a lot of like safe, easy, basic ones. Like, Anything in like Apple, the S and P five hundred, yeah, like yeah. they're just gonna be slow, small, little. Well, like, you like Google and like Amazon, Apple, stuff like that. They really don't actually make very much money. Um, like the percentages are so low because everybody just like, I, I don't actually exactly know why, but like in our experience, we just never bother with those. But like the lower half of like the S and P five hundred, like the companies that are trying to be the next like Google and shit, mm-hmm. those are like all relatively speaking pretty safe, and they'll. They'll go up, they'll make you a few percentage, and it's better than keeping your money and, like, you know, it, it'll be a higher return than, like, a high interest savings account for the most part. But it's just, like, yeah, like, the volatile, crazy stocks of, like, people getting in, like, the whole fucking EB Games and shit like that. Or GameStop, sorry. Yeah. Uh, it's called EB Games here. But, uh, yeah, that whole thing is just, like, bro, it's just, yeah, the ups and downs of it are just, like, I don't want to be addicted to my phone looking at my money disappear. Like, that's fucking miserable. <laughs> yeah, people yeah. that, like, want, want to get into day trading and stuff like that, I just could not, I, I couldn't do that. It just consumes that. your whole fucking life. You, you just have to all be, 16 hours a day. You have to actually be one of those people that gets up at, like, 3 a.m. You have to be up, like, if you live, yeah. if you Doing live where it opens, yeah. yeah, like, if you live on the East Coast, you have to be up before <clears> West Coast or whatever, or vice versa, West Coast, you know what I'm saying, yeah, you have to yeah, be up yeah. earlier than everyone, so. Yeah, it's dog yeah. aids. Miserable. So if you ever come by a lot of money, unless you know exactly what you're doing, just go buy property. Just go buy a commercial property, rent it out to Walmart, and have a good day. Get yourself some passive income that exceeds your life expenses, and then you're financially free. <laughs> or just do a lot of raid ads and retire miserably. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah. The path we have chosen. Let's go. Spam raid. raid. Raid spam every month. I was into crypto uh, a while back, Let me and I got right there. I got. <laughs> But I wasn't like one of those people who's like, this is the future. I mean, I, yeah, I tried yeah. to like tell some friends. I, I would tell my friends like, if you have extra money that you're not using, it would probably it to be me. a good idea. <laughs> well, it'd be a good idea to maybe invest a little bit into into something because you never know. It's good to have yeah. a little bit of fuck it money. Like, you know, that's not going to like put you yeah. on the street. That you yeah, can and that's around. what I would do. I would just fuck around with, with uh, like Bitcoin and, and yeah. Litecoin and Ethereum. <laughs> And yeah. I actually, I, I made a good bit of money off of this coin called Tron because uh, it was like a, and I'm not shilling this to anybody, so don't go put your money in this or anything. This is just the goons are not personal. offering financial advice. Yeah, yeah definitely this is not <laughs> financial advice. I'm just saying my, what happened for me was pretty wild. I, uh, I put in a little bit of money into this coin called Tron or whatever, and it, was like less than a penny, but I only did that because I had the money to lose, and I just was like, I don't give a fuck. I'll just see what happens, and yeah, it ended oh, up. Oh, I thought you meant a, you put in less than a penny. I was like, what? No, the the I now guess I have the, nine the pennies. Stock, the up. stock, the stock, per, or I guess whatever you yeah, call yeah, it yeah, in the Bitcoin the world was less coin. than a penny, yeah. and yeah. Uh, I just bought some of it because I was like, I don't care, <laughs> and you know, ended up making a little bit of money off of it. But dude, it, I mean, you can make money off of it, but it's so volatile that. I wouldn't go into it expecting a, a quick return or anything. No. It's not, yeah. not I feel likely. like yeah, I, I feel like that's kind of a general rule of thumb for anything. If there's anything where people are like, "Oh, it's quick money," like it's an easy way to get rich. There's mm. a, a reason, you know, not everyone is doing it. There yeah. like if if yeah. if something is a quick way to get rich, it's probably dog shit. Like yeah. there's a reason. Yeah, you just you know, have, it's literally just all luck based, honestly. Yeah, yeah like it's, it's like going to the casino RNG. and putting your life savings on black and just being like, <clears> yeah. well, here we go. Even yeah, investing, move, even like traditional investing is still a gamble. You know, you never yeah, know. Yeah, to if you're gonna... well, the it's thing about the thing about safe investing. The thing about investing. Unless the whole market is dead, then you're fine. Yeah. The thing about like ri- like risk, the risk investing in stocks is you can do research on like companies and stuff. Like you can, you can find like, like Blarg did the whole weed thing. Like he researched the fact that these weed companies were going public and they were growing and blah, blah, blah. You can't really do that with Bitcoin. It's like, or like not Bitcoin, but just a cryptocurrency in general. It's like, what makes a crypto go up? Like there's no like, well, there, there are companies behind shilling it in phase. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah like, but there are, there are still companies behind crypto though. It's not oh, yeah. just like, no, for there sure. are still actual companies. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not like a, like I said, it's not, you can't. There's no like research behind it. Like, there's just no. Well, there, like, there can it's RNG. Yeah, the, yeah. I mean, you can research so, like some stuff. 
is like a lot of technology based whatever. Like a lot of it's technology based, I believe. But once again, I don't. I didn't research yeah. it. I just got again, lucky. Again, we are not experts. We are <laughs> yeah. simply chatting like some old men drinking beer in the backyard, confused yeah, about exactly. the modern yeah. world. Yeah, very. Please do not though. listen or take anything we say seriously. I personally thought Dogecoin was going to go crazy because it's like until like, I know, know. Well, so did everyone. Mean. I know Bitcoin. <laughs> a Bitcoin is like um, you have to physically mine Bitcoin. You have to use like physical hardware to get Bitcoin. But Dogecoin was like just rent like generated. I, I don't know exactly how it was, but it didn't cause. You didn't have to use any physical hardware to just generate Dogecoin. You're speaking windings to me, bro. I don't know anything <clears throat> yeah, about this stuff. Web day it's, mode. it's weird. All all I know is that like Bitcoin, you like there there are people who have like like uh like sheds and stuff full of hardware that just constantly run oh, and mine yeah. Bitcoin. Yeah, yep. But you don't have to do that with Dogecoin. Fans. It just it just gets created online somehow. I'm mm -hmm. not exactly sure, but that's why I thought that was gonna go crazy because it's like, oh, it's a coin that doesn't have to, you know, you don't have to use actual real resources to get it i when mean you elon say, shilled the fuck out of it too <clears throat> that's who yeah point. when you say physically mine what the <clears throat> hell does that mean your computer just yeah. sits there and does algorithms all day there's like bitcoin mining yeah. gpus that are literally they don't even have outputs they literally sit there and solve mathematical problems and get rewarded with bitcoin is yeah. essentially the easiest Power. it's way weird it. it's, it's so weird. easiest Power. way to, easiest way to put it you, that's why, huh. uh, if you remember what, like two years ago, the, the price of GPUs were fucking absurd and yeah. you couldn't find any uh. for sale because everyone was buying them to mine Bitcoin and stuff. Yep. Yeah. A lot of what a wacky era we live in right now, bro. <clears throat> yeah. It's definitely like a birth. Like we're a living through the birth of the, of the tech boom right now. Well, so I like think we're... It's it's the death of NFTs already. Those are well, thank God that was short lived. Yeah, but I feel like yeah. we're we're in the we're in the process of like people trying to figure out a bunch of different like shit when it comes to technology. Like I feel like a thousand years from now, people are going to look back on this and be like, like how how did they not just figure it out? You know. Well, yeah, but I mean that's fucking anything. Yeah, that's no, us exactly. looking that's back with fire. We're living we're living during the birth. Like, cause not only like only fifty years ago we were fucking surprised that a microwave worked. You know. So, you, so what? No, wait, wait. Is, let, let me get, let me get this straight. Where, where you think this? you think we're gonna get more technologically advanced? <laughs> well, duh. Obviously. <laughs> okay. No. I understand. No, I understand. Like, we're, I feel like we're living during. I mean, humans have been around for hundreds of thousands of years. I feel like every generation ever has been, been like tech. we're. I feel like every generation ever has been like we're in, we're there we're we're at the start of it all. Right. I mean, yeah, I can do that like, in just I, my I lifetime. We are. I can't believe we used to watch shit on VHS. You know, yeah, like yeah, but that's that's part of the tech boom. I'm thinking of like the grand picture. Like we're living, like the internet has only been a thing for what twenty years. Like we're living in the in the bur okay monkey time. I feel like we're communicating in some weird monkey picture. <laughs> Morse code. I I I'm I excited I for it. the future of uh of video games. That's what I'm really excited for. Same. Like. Just the fact that I used to have to blow into my Nintendo 64 cartridge and like <laughs> slam it down and like, <laughs> <laughs> like yep. move it around like that, and jostle it to get it to work. I love, right. I love that now, they always said, "Do not blow inside of the cartridge." Yet it always worked. That, it that was always, always the problem. It literally worked. Perfect. And now it's and like now I we gotta... can just put on a headset and we're like moving our arms and shit. Yeah. And it's like Dude. tracking us perfectly. VR will be VR's really fucking be cool nuts. if it keeps getting if it keeps yeah. getting invested in the way like that it is. Although yeah. I will say, people kind of like. It is very gimmicky, and it was, like, I don't know. I'm worried that because it was so gimmicky when it came out, a lot of people kind of dismiss it already, and it'll never get too much better, but... There's just not yeah, enough VR games. There's not enough content. No. That's the problem. Yeah, though. and it sucks, too, that, like, a lot of the best ones, you have to have, like, directly plug in your computer, and then you just have all these cables, and and you have to, yeah. like, oh, you just connect have these fucking, like, cameras on your walls to, like, track your body. Oculus, is, Oculus is really good. I heard yeah. the Steam Oculus, one is crazy. Oculus too. The, the, the index is really nice. Yeah. I, I have the index, the index and I have not used it in like well over two years. I would love I'm, to record uh, VR with you guys. There I was going to say, I was going to order do. one because we all said we wanted to do it. And then I was like, all right, yeah, let's do it. And then everyone's like, yeah, maybe not. So I just never bothered ordering. ordering I am one. down anytime. I had, okay. I've had the HTC Vive. Well, I mean, I still have it, but I, <laughs> the parts, <clears throat> excuse me, the parts for it, I have no idea where they are. And the, I just, it's so unimmersive whenever you have like f 
four or five massive cables. Yeah. They're like, and then like it, it didn't, uh, like you feel like I'm talking the matrix or something. Well, like I, I don't know. Support, I don't know if they've up, I'm sure they've updated how it works, but the, the, I had like the very first one, I believe. And it, uh, had like four or five cables running out of the back of it, and you had to also put on headphones. Hell no, bro. And have a microphone, which is part of the reason I got what I have right here, which is the Audio Technica BPHS1. For anyone curious, but uh, you would, and this is also wired, so you'd have like <laughs> yeah. nine hours. Yeah. You'd have like f- five to six wires running back to your computer. An extra and head then, of hair stuck. Yeah, to yeah, literally, and it was already uh, pretty. It was pretty heavy. And the the room I was in was pretty small and and hot, and so the glasses or whatever would just fog up oh, for me, like, sweating my dick off. Yeah. And then you had to like drill the fucking cameras into your walls and stuff. Yeah, and it's just like, yeah. Man, you have to do is, that with the index. It's, it's too much. The, well, that's yeah, why I like the the, the Oculus. I have the mine Oculus sitting on cardboard really boxes. I don't know if you can can you see them in this. Angle? That's what I used to do with yeah, mine. I one. used to yeah. There's mine. I used to do the same uh-huh. thing because I'm like, dude, I don't want to yeah, okay. drill this into my wall to play it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, that's kind of. Kind of wild. Or you can you can put it on stands and everything yeah. like that, but it's still like, <laughs> yeah. If you don't have the space for it, it's almost not worth getting. But oh, the yeah. Oculus is really space. good. One of the best things can, to do is yeah. um, there's two options to go. I guess like kind of wireless, but one you can get the Oculus Quest two and you can buy a battery pack, like one of those like rechargeable like squares that just hold a bunch of charge. And they have like, like attachments made for the Oculus, so you can instead of having two hours on the Oculus, you can have like eight hours, because that's the only thing that sucks about the Oculus is after two Dude, hours. Eight it hours of VR sounds like hell on earth. Yeah. That sounds Anyways, like motion sickness. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's uh it, it just like I think the Oculus sometimes like if you're heavy gaming on Oculus, you'll get like an hour and a half, and it'll just die. Yeah, yeah. that kind of sucks. <clears throat> but um, I feel you like can that's also, a good thing though. I can't yeah, remember which company. Is, uh, one company sells a backpack you can wear. And it's literally a computer. I don't want to wear a backpack while I'm gaming. Yeah, like, man. It's, it's well, I was just saying, much. like, if you want to run something really good, like the Index or something, you could always just go with the the backpack computer. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't. It, lo- it looks just like a normal Dude. backpack. It just has like like yeah, but laptop style hardware it. in it. It's heavy. The Index yeah, is just it's... one wire. It's really fine. It's and yeah, the it's controllers are incredible on the Index. Yeah, they are. Uh, and then you get 144 hertz too. That just makes the whole experience way yeah, I better. Feel like that would make it a lot less uh, brain pounding. Brain fucking. Yeah, yeah. It's super fluid. The Oculus was a lot of fun because I would go. I, you're not supposed to, but I would just go outside and draw the little square, and then you don't have to worry about running into anything. Yeah, it, it tells you not to go. Your outside neighbor the, watching you do the weirdest shit outside because <laughs> the sun can damage it or whatever. But I would just yeah, the sensors are yeah yeah I, I didn't care because it constantly is anyway. like it's constantly like using a camera to see like outside because like where you while you're wearing the headset you can like see like your surroundings. Yeah. And I think the sun damages that somehow. I don't remember yeah. which one Smitty had, but it was a lot of fucking gables. Especially to get it like mic'd up to record it was a hassle. Yeah, uh-huh. recording it is even more fucked because if you're trying to record that kind of thing and there's so much shit. Like I recorded some VR Vive videos and I'm like, man, this is AIDS, dude. Yeah. It's yeah. AIDS it's with all these better. wires. Because I'm like having to like fucking jump rope over all the wires so I don't rip my computer out of the wall while I'm playing. <laughs> yeah, the Quest is perfect for that because you can you can stream what's going on on the Quest on yeah. to your PC and then you would just like screen record it. Yeah, well, you can get like the Chromecast. I think that's yeah. what I did is I got the Chromecast thing and just hooked it up to my TV so people, whenever people came over and wanted to play, we could like see what they were looking at and everything. Well, the thing, the because you know how like the Quest is like hooked up to Facebook, like you have to have yeah. a Facebook account for it. There's a yep. thing you can do on Facebook where it'll it'll sh- like live stream onto Facebook, and yeah, then you I've can just like that. screen record that. Yeah. The only thing you would probably need is like, I guess, a decent mic, because I'm sure the mic on the Quest is probably not very good. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I feel like nobody has good mic quality when they're playing fucking. Yeah, I recently VR. watched uh, uh, Swagger do a video. He, he, I think he did like um, some like like Russian roulette game or something. And I was hearing Smitty talk, and I was like, "Who is that?" Yeah, you sound. Yeah. I realized, you I realized it was different. him, and he's yeah. yeah. His was compressed like crazy. Like I, I have a video up on my channel of me playing on Smitty's VR, um, and I sound like a completely different fucking person on it. Really. Yeah, and like he Super comes just in sound the, normal with his headset because it's just like yeah, yeah. we're just yeah, used to his sound. Here. But yeah, Smitty <laughs> comes in the room too, and like 
he just walked in while I was making a goofy ass character and he's like, what are you doing? And it sounds nothing like him either. It's so weird. Really? It's so, I wonder like how different we all sound in person to like what we sound like online. Like, I wonder if there's that distinct of a difference. Cause I know soup sounds fucking identical. Yeah. I, I don't, don't know. Any difference with soup. Well, I've met no, both of you. None. I've met Blarg and McNasty in, in person and I don't think y'all sound we any different. We probably all sound about the same. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm so actually weird. surprised at me cause I like, I use a lot Process of EQ of and compression and mic. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, the way, the way that I do it is I'm trying to, I'm trying to emulate how I sound in my own ears, you know? Yeah, like whenever, I, if I just have a blank mic with nothing but just gain, I, I sound wrong. Like I don't sound like how I feel like I sound. I mean, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <Okay. laughs> That's fair enough, I guess. <laughs> Understandable. Did you guys, I, I, I want to try VR though, but I don't, I don't. I need to like really delve into setting up everything properly and and getting the right equipment. Just to do it before. just an index, it, and it's done. Mm. It's I wish easy. you could use. I the wish the index worked one. without the fucking screwing the shit into the wall. Well, I wish it just worked with just the headset plugged in. It's weird. Oh wait, just dude, there's a mic on the stands. there's a mic on the index. Yeah, it, it's pretty oh. damn good actually. Yeah, there's like built-in headphones too. Yep. Oh yeah. Wait, why why wouldn't you just get like tripods, McNasty, instead of drilling shit in your fucking wall? Yeah, I yeah, didn't I want to do I, that. I, just, I guess I could. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't, there's not a whole lot of room. room. Yeah, but I have Probably. like, Even I, I have a, shit going on I have a hat there. stand you over there. Move some. Oh no, not a hat stand. <laughs> not a movable wooden object. But can you, all, move you, it. you can also, uh, there, there's like an, uh, at least on the Oculus, there's an, uh, wait, am I thinking about the Oculus or the Vive? Maybe it's both of them. I think you can have an option on there to where you play sitting down. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have yeah. to. You don't necessarily have to be standing up the whole time. If you want to be a little bitch. Yeah, but yeah, we, it's like, where's the fun in that? I, I yeah. want to be all into it. I want to be on the ground doing the worm on the battlefield and shit. You know what I'm doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want to be humping the ping pong table. Come on. <laughs> Would you guys ever get the full body shit? Like the Fuck full no, body that's way too tracking? much. Oh, that seems like... I mean, if there was an easy way to do it, like, you remember the fucking uh, Xbox uh, Kinect or whatever the fuck it was? Yeah. That, like, yeah. Would, would, like, that have the camera and track your whole body? Like, if there was something like that with VR, yeah, absolutely, that'd be so fun. Like, the goofy shit you could do in a fucking video game would be yeah. Yeah. incredible. I'm surprised like, they haven't, like, uh, they haven't branched off from that, like, that kind of technology. It's weird because the technology's been there since what, 2013, 14 the yeah, Kinect came long out? Time, yeah. Yeah, like it's well, even weird before that, that, didn't the PlayStation have some sort of like the Wii camera? Wii, yeah, yeah, the, it's the actually Wii's the Wii, it. but yeah, the the PlayStation had like the ball remotes. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, even but that. even besides that, I remember in school, like we they had this PlayStation that we could all play if we were good or some shit and it, you, you would stand in front of the camera and you could like do stuff or whatever with no controller. I don't know. Mm. It's crazy though how how far all that shit has come. I, I mean, remember. I, uh, did you guys ever play the Virtual Boy? No. Virtual Boy. No. Oh my god, that thing was. I used to have one of those, horrible, dude. Where you had to sit and put your fucking face into it, and dude, you just like yes. sit like a shrimp. Oh, is yeah. that thing where you like hold? You have to like hold it or something? Yeah. You. you well, it's gone. You would. Stand. The controllers were on the side. And, yeah. Yeah. The, the controllers, like the buttons and the D pad or whatever or joystick, were like on the side, and I remember like. I know for a fact I couldn't do it now that I'm an old, decrepit man, but as a kid, I would sit on the floor, crisscross applesauce, and lean forward into yeah. this thing and play it like this. And even as a kid, after like 30 minutes, I'd be like, damn, my <laughs> yeah. back is killing me. So I know now I'd probably be out of commission, be in a wheelchair. Oh, yeah, you'd, you'd be dead. <laughs> Spine would just fucking snap. Yeah, I feel like the reason probably like shit like the full body tracking hasn't really popped off is because like the Xbox Connect was a f huge fucking flop, yeah. and like all those were kind of flops. Like everything. It's also kind expensive of that. too. All the VR stuff is so overpriced now. Yeah, but I think the is. Oculus is more. It's more affordable. Yeah, than, like the the Index and all that. Yeah, it yeah. is worth it though. You get what you pay for. To be honest, like I think the Index is like twelve hundred, but it's like so much better. Than every yeah, other I mean, one, with so. 144, it's the only one with 144 refresh, isn't it? I think so, yeah. I think yeah, that's so. I think like one with 90. Huge. That's huge not to bad. not hurting your brain. Because, like, even 90s, like, anything under 144 at this point just hurts my brain, even on a regular monitor. I can't imagine, like, when the monitor is strapped to my face. Yeah. That it would feel I'm good. surprised they haven't, like, I mean, maybe they do, but I'm surprised they haven't came up with one that's, like, 240 hertz or something. Like, if they have that technology for monitors... Like, why wouldn't they have to, that technology for, Probably like, a tiny no little monitor? no reason to yet. 
They probably haven't yeah. like able to. There's just like the, there's no the price competition. price yeah. point and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah it might the be the price more... point for something like that. They would just be no point in doing that. Cause it'd and be too if expensive. fucking Valve is the only one with 144, why the fuck would people bother coming out with more than that? They'd just try to spend their money matching that right now. Yeah, there's no I reason guess. for anybody to do that. I mean, Marcus it's like when so you think yet. about it, like there are 240 hertz monitors out there that are like seven hundred dollars. Yeah, and those those are like 27, 32 inch monitors. But like a, okay. a little monitor screen inside of a headset, what is that? Six inches? Yeah, but it definitely reacts a lot differently. I feel like they're not exactly the same type of fucking. Yeah, I guess it's yeah, you're also like talking it's about a, virtual reality. Yeah, I have no yeah. idea how much more monitor. it costs to, to make a headset monitor. I would imagine substantially more, but I could be wrong. And you probably have to have like some sort of like reflective shit because you're looking at it through two different things. Yeah. yeah. So maybe it's two monitors in there. And that they are, like, also can like working. move and shit based on your eyes yeah. and stuff. So it's definitely not just screen and like yeah, yeah, it's not just, yeah. It's just a big thing. screen right in front of you. Yeah, yeah it's not it's like otherwise screen. they would just fucking put like essentially an iPhone screen. You just have it like this in front of you. Like they'd work yeah. fine if it, have if you it was. Have you ever tried to use those like thirty dollar fucking like uh, VR headsets where you just slide your phone in it? Uh, I used one once to control my friend's drone, and it was actually not that bad at all, but it definitely hurt a little bit. No, I feel like you're, minutes. like, literally burning your eyeballs out of your yeah. face. I, well, my <laughs> issue is, like, motion sickness. When you have, like, a small screen that close to your face, of like, especially because I was flying his drone around, so it's just like, yeah, that was fucking pain. That was hell. <clears throat> I did it with porn that. one time, and it was terrible. V Wait, I don't know why really? VR porn is a thing. It's awful. Did you play VR Paradise, McNasty? I don't know what that but is. But even, like, what is VR porn? Like, can you, like, look around the room and just see, like, the camera guy just, like... Yeah. Just sitting there back there? It's like, a, I think it's just a guy, like, fucking a girl, and he's wearing, like, one of those, like, 360 headsets. That's like so a 360 weird. camera on his head. So you can, like, look around. Why would you want to just... not, like... The whole point is, like, that it's d directed for you. Like, uh, and it's... Why would you want to look anywhere else other than, like, where normal porn would send you to look? That's yeah. so weird. It's just it, it's it's. Maybe you want to check out the uh, the decorations in the room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Damn. When I did it. I remember I was like looking at like the like dressers and shit they had in their fucking house and shit. It's I just feel like everyone's like, everyone's got to try it once. It's just like what is this? You got to check it out. It's like yeah, eh. yeah, definitely. But eh. yeah, when I did it, it's like there's a huge disconnect because like obviously if you're like sitting on a couch getting your dick sucked, you it's real. It's there. You feel it. But like when you're just watching it happen, it's like you're not. It's just I don't know. It's just. Dude, I I feel like I'd feel like the like the biggest fucking loser on the planet. <laughs> yeah. Like if I was just sitting yeah. there and I just spent twelve hundred dollars on this fucking VR headset and I'm using it to watch somebody fuck a woman. Pixels. Like, I, I, <laughs> Pixels. Dude, by I, the way. I, don't, I, really... I don't know if I'd be able to live with myself. Yeah. It's yeah. It's uh, it's definitely over. something you like got to try at least once. Just I don't, for the I don't fuck know of if it. I'd need to. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I don't you know should if spend I need a little bit of time. I'll take your word. I get bored. I get bored. Have you ever? I tried it when I got mine. I was like, "Is this as as hype as it sounds? Like, is it as good yeah. as it sounds?" And it's it's pretty ass. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty ass. Yeah, that just sounds weird to me. I don't know. Not my thing. I what feel were you like, talking about VR chat, dude? I I feel like the lowest that a human can get in life is being in VR chat <laughs> with full body tracking, having your little wolf avatar on and blowing each other. On the balcony oh, yeah, like, of a map. What is that called? And Erotic is, RP or something? This is a real. ERP? This is Insane. a real story. These are real things I have seen many times, and these are real people oh, yeah, doing I, this. I believe you. Uh, have you ever just like shredded next to them while they're just like sucking wolf dick? <laughs> no. <they're, laughs> you gotta go up and play. You gotta go up and play George, that George Michael song. Yeah, uh, that there was there's there's these maps where you could put on videos. Um, for oh the boy. entire world to hear, and that one map where they were <laughs> sucking each other's dick, I put on Yoda says the N word for ten hours, bass boosted, <laughs> then I left. <laughs> I used They're to love dude. shit like that, like uh, G Mod Theater, dude. Those that some of that shit used to be so Just funny. Put some cursed bullshit up. Yeah. yeah, dude, everybody, because you could like go in there and type in the chat and then vote mm -hmm. on the videos and vote yep. to skip them or what or play it again or whatever. It's so you watch like full on movies. I watched Toy Story in Gary's Mod a long time ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you literally just went to a movie theater and watched all of Toy Story like it was just a normal fucking movie theater day. That's kind of cool, honestly. It is. Yeah, it was dope. It's yeah, very I like, the I feel movie like that happened Twitter a lot a during COVID. Ago. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I remember seeing a, a family guy. It was like a couple episodes of Family Guy. I watched the whole thing for an hour. And it was one I of those like. Have you seen those YouTube videos recently of the Family Guy stuff where it'll no. just like randomly zoom in on like a part just to like avoid no. copyright? 
And it was like that. It was like that on the Twitter one. I guess somebody had just ripped a uh, YouTube video. Oh, All yeah, I like dude. it is Peter like, dude, I, Peter I, Griffin I, saying the N word now on my oh, like, yeah. Instagram feed. It's just like Peter Griffin about. It'd be like the most random Family Guy clip, and then Peter Griffin about to say the N word, and then it just cuts. It's yeah, like, you stupid, and it just cuts like, the next video. <laughs> Can when you I was, send me one of those? <laughs> when I was watching that, I probably I was, have. <laughs> I was kind of like, like I started feeling weird because I was like, I have, I literally have Hulu. Like I can go and watch season one, episode one, all the way to the most recent episode. But it's but like you're not in Gmod with random people for right. some reason. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, seeing it on you on Twitter, like uploaded, Twitter, like dude, that's it's made it better. That's what happened because I I would never just throw on the B movie and I was uploading one yeah. day. And I was making the thumbnail and stuff, and somebody tweeted and was like, "Fuck it, entire B movie." And I was like, now nah, they're memeing. And it literally was the entire B movie. It was the two tweets. <laughs> it was two tweets. It was one was the first half of the movie, and then second was the, the second half of the movie. And I watched the entire B movie while I fucking uploaded. And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck was that? Like that was that was on Twitter. Was, I like, did that with George Lopez res. recently. I got a whole like episode of George Lopez like tweeted at me or something. I just watched like the whole thing. <laughs> just sitting there on my phone, just like, damn, this is pretty good. I found a gif that's the entire <laughs> Shrek movie once. Oh yeah, I've seen those. Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah that's are, crazy. Uh, it's just it's just from start to finish one gif. Yeah. The entire it's so funny cuz like it, it's like we would normally not ever watch that stuff. But, but when it's sent to you in that way, it's like when it's well, somewhere okay. that it shouldn't be, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> Maybe I can I waste what, an hour. I wonder what like the <laughs> psychology is. Like I wonder what's going on in your brain that that causes you to want to watch that. Like I don't know. It's probably like, you know, like when you were a kid and you had access to a toy and you didn't want it until somebody else had that toy and you're like, yo, what? Like, that's, I want that. Yeah. Uh, I feel like maybe it's like, where it's like, it's always on Netflix. You can watch it on Netflix. You don't want to watch it on Netflix. But then you see it on Twitter and you're like, hey. It's like, I think it's like too much accessibility brain, or something. Yeah. It yeah. Makes you not part want of it. my brain is like, did they really get the full episode on here? And yeah. So I, gotta I, check. I get sucked into watching it. Like, is this I gotta really the full episode? I got to watch the end of the credits. Yeah. That, that, they yeah. might have cut off some, some credits. I got to be thorough. Surely, like, yeah, the middle part of the plot is gone or something. Yeah. Like, there's got to be, like, some jump scare in the middle of this or something out of nowhere. One frame of dick. Yeah. One frame. Dude, that's yeah. like YouTube kids content where they fucking... There's like a big a problem with YouTube kids right now where like 90% of the video will be like Coco Melon and then it'll just be random like 30 seconds to somebody getting beheaded. It's like an, a fuck? genuine Link? issue on YouTube kids. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a whole thing right now. But uh, yeah, that's that's what's going on, on YouTube kids. So yeah, and we're getting demonetized for saying the shit word once. Yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, Pepsi's literally. mad at me because I said fucky wucky in the first thirty seconds. Sorry, right. Pepsi. My bad. Yeah, it's, I mean, well, no, goofy you know, good website. Good time. Uh, anyways, use code, use code goons. Code goons, yeah, gamer subs. subs. They have our families. Yeah, they have our families. I'm drinking we don't want it. Them back, All right. But. Am I meeting my contractual obligations by drinking it? Well, wait. There's a I had bit some at the gym today. He's when are we going to get our own flavor? Is that something that's I happening? Soon. I think we're doing that soon. Very yeah, they, soon. I think they're I think they're testing out a bunch of different things because the flavor we gave them, they were like, I don't know. I think they said they're working on it because they had something else in mind for us, and we said no. Cause One full of cyanide and yeah. arsenic. Yeah, yeah they, they tried to they tried to say like let's put black powder and like you know we cancer could do causing piss blood things. Flavor let's just do black, black pepper. pepper. Just mix black Lead pepper. Shavings. With black pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Toenails. Just a bunch of caffeine and a bunch of black pepper mixed together. Nondescript toenails. Leg we don't shavings. know who they came from. <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, I'm going to do the outro. Yeah. Thanks for listening, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. If you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, please. Use code GOONS get you some juice. Also, maybe pick up some merch. What's up with merch? We have merch. <laughs> I think we uh, have merch. I think it's out of stock right now. All right. Okay, don't okay. pick Get up merch. merch. Then. Don't do if it. you have merch already, pick it up and then put it back down in your house. But we are possibly, maybe possibly working on some new merch, so. Yeah, yeah. baby. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. You will buy Stay it. Goon. You will buy Stay it. Goon. It'll rub your nipples raw if you wear it for one second. Yeah, very low thread count. It's like one piece of fabric. It'll, it will actually make you raw if Just you wear it. Just a burlap sack with Made a Made out of pure sandpaper. It. Wear it. <laughs> Download on Spotify, please. Please go download on Spotify. Go download it on Spotify. I cannot say it enough. Please. I think that was enough. Download yeah, it. Quite a bit. On... I got to go okay, take a big okay. poopy. I'm, I'm stopping my recording.